What if you got multiple tabs with the tab widget in Elementor and you got six tabs and you got images, bit of text, bit of images, whatever. And it looks fine on the desktop. But when you go to the mobile, this then happens where your tabs are now below the preceding one. So we've got tab three, we've got tab two, we've got tab one. But while I'm looking at tab one, I cannot now see tab two, three or four, five, six until I scroll down. Now there is a way we can actually make the layouts that we have here with six tabs at the top be mirrored in a way on the mobile. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. What you do is just go to your the tab, <laughs> custom CSS, and drop this code in. Now there are a few aspects you need to consider and I'll go through those as soon as I put the code in. And that code is in and it's not done anything to the desktop. Of course it's not, because it's just a desktop. That's because this code will only activate where the um, where the screen is up to 500 pixels in size. So anything below 500 pixels, it will now drop and activate this code. OK, so desktop and tablet will stay as it is. Mobile, it will change to this. Let me show you the result. This is what it's going to do. Now, please bear in mind that if you've got very long descriptions, this solution is not going to work for you really that well. Just remember that, OK? If you've got 20 tabs, this isn't gonna work for you. It's gonna to start to look a bit ridiculous. But if you're very succinct on your descriptions, this could work for you. So now we have tab one, tab two, tab three, and I can jump back into tab one and I can see all the tabs. This is what the code is doing. It is, um, if you take 100% and divide by six, I think it's 15.6%. But if I put 15.6%, it doesn't work really well. I've had to put in 14.98. Let me just show you what happens if I do 15. It kind of starts to wrap a bit. If I change it to be 12, I've now got a lot of excess space. So I I messed around and got 14.98%. You would adjust it. I've also said that the margin left is two pixels, just because if I do zero, it was too much over to the left and two kind of worked pretty well. The other key bit is over here, margin top and margin, uh, margin top and margin left. If I put the margin top as zero, it was a bit too close. So I've given it a bit of spacing from the tab. And margin left, you don't have to have that one in, but I've left it in there anyway. The beauty of this is that when you come onto mobile, you now have your tabs with the tabs at the top. So if we only had three tabs, and I do want to make a point of this, okay? Let's go to content. Let's now just get rid of tab four, five, and six, okay? So we only got three tabs, three tabs at the top, wonderful. Let's now go to the mobile. That's now looking a little bit tight. So let's go to the custom CSS. And I know that 33.3% is going to be your um, normal divide by three. But let's just go with 33%. It's too big. So I've adjusted it to be 29%. And I've put margin left of 10 pixels. So that's looking reasonably OK. But again, we have the desktop view. And then we have the mobile view. And now we've got the tabs at the top rather than the tabs automatically flipping to be vertical and one below the preceding tab. This just works a little bit better in terms of presentation. Uh, the code will be in the description for you to go and have a play with. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.